Hare Krishna. It is a great fortune for all of us today to be in the holy presence of His Holiness Radhanath Swami Maharaj in the Shri Shri Radha Gopinath Temple under the benevolent and merciful gaze of their lordships on the altar for this most auspicious occasion of the Diksha ceremony, the initiation ceremony of all of you. The spiritual instructions given in the scriptures are all intended to be summarized and presented through the medium of the initiation. This is how Srila Prabhupada explains it in his purport to the famous verse Brahmanda Brahmite Kono Bhagyavanji in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, the teachings of Lord Chaitanya to Srila Rupa Goswami. We have all heard the phrase Bhakti Lata Bij, the seed of the creeper of devotional service. So what is this seed? Srila Prabhupada extensively speaks on this topic in that purport. And he mentions that the seed actually constitutes the instructions about spiritual life given by the spiritual master. And specifically he adds that this happens at the time of Diksha or initiation. So this is a very important point and it relates the concept of initiation on one hand and the Bhakti Lata Bij on the other hand. At the same time, it also raises some curious questions. The very word initiation means to initiate or to begin. But spiritual life has already begun. Because without having practiced spiritual life up to a certain standard for a certain minimum period of time, one is not eligible for initiation. There is a screening process, a filtering process, which means that following the rules and regulations after having heard about them and understood them has already begun. So then, what do we mean when we say that Diksha is the process of initiation? Or when Srila Prabhupada says that the instructions of spiritual life are given through the medium of the initiation process. It means that the initiation process deepens and formalizes everything that the devotee was doing earlier in terms of his or her faith, understanding, resolve and practice of Krishna consciousness. In the Nectar of Devotion, Srila Rupa Goswami has mentioned 64 regulative principles of devotional service. And the very first three are actually related to the process of accepting a spiritual master. The first one is Sri Guru Padashraya. Ashraya means shelter. Pad refers to the feet. So accepting the lotus feet, the shelter of the lotus feet of the spiritual master is the first of the 64 instructions. And what does it mean to accept the feet of a spiritual master? Second, Srila Rupa Goswami says, Shri Krishna Dikshadi Shikshanam. He says that one should accept Shri Krishna Diksha and also Shri Krishna Shiksha. Diksha is the formalization process that we are going to, we have begun today. And Shiksha is the process of giving instructions. So this is the second point that Rupa Goswami makes. But it's not merely a question of just hearing. It's also a question of actively serving. So Srila Rupa Goswami makes the third point, 
विच इज विश्रम भेण गुरु सेवा विद ग्रेट डिवोशन एंड फेथ टू सर्व द स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर एंड एज वी नो there are two manifestations one is the vapu which is the physical presence or the physical personality and the second is the instructions so where possible in the physical presence the service is good where not possible and it is most frequently not going to be possible it is even more important to follow the instructions so when shila rupa goswami says that accepting a spiritual master means to serve the spiritual master with faith and devotion it means that we are actually accepting the instructions and the mood of the spiritual master and then shri lok rupa goswami goes on with other types of instructions like the fourth one being sadhu vartmanu vartanam to follow in the footsteps of the previous acharyas the sadhus that of course for us is exemplified through the personality of the guru who actually presents the distilled knowledge and the example of the previous gurus or the acharyas so in this way the process of diksha is a process of making rigid making us firmly resolve in our heart to do what we were already doing when we refer to the process of formalization of what we were already doing earlier a word of caution is in order generally the word formalization uh implies a formality so we shouldn't think it's a formality when we use the word formality we indicate something that is just externally and superficially done for the sake of it that is what generally the word formality means in our day to day discourse but when we speak of formalization of the process we are not speaking of formalization in this superficial sense we are speaking of it as a very deep acceptance of everything that we have learned so far through the bona fide parampara in krishna consciousness and taking a firm resolve to continue on that path life long now these teachings will also crystallize more they will evolve with service to the spiritual master the realizations will happen and one will continue to make progress shri la prabhupada has spoken extensively on the process of initiation and its importance and he has also emphasized how shiksha is the heart of diksha and the processes of diksha shiksha find culmination and embodiment in the person of the spiritual master so today all those who are taking initiation are indeed very fortunate because you are all taking initiation from a personality who is a transparent vai medium to the previous acharyas who is a super excellent example of what a spiritual teacher a spiritual guide a spiritual master a guru is in this world and it is not very easy and very simple to have this fortune so i want to congratulate the good fortune of all of you present who are taking initiation today for this very eventful occurrence in your life and i would also like to thank his holiness radhanath swami maharaj from the bottom of my heart for having made this possible today normally it is his policy to not initiate in places where he does not travel to and that includes many of the places which many of you reside in so ordinarily you would not have been able to see this day but very kindly he accepted this and he has done a favor to all of us including myself and for this i am ever grateful 
and without taking further time i will request his holiness to please give us the essence of what he would like to tell us today thank you all very much and a word of thanks to all the devotees here in radha gopina temple who have worked so hard to organize this program it's not just about today there is a long preparatory period that has gone on for many days before this so i would like to also thank all the devotees involved in making all the arrangements for this function thank you very much hari krishna